Hello chess friends, today I am going to show you my brilliant chess game where I sacrificed my queen against alpha zero, game was very brilliant, you will enjoy the game very much, that's my promise, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, let's go, I started with e4, we have c5, knight to f3, alpha played a6 instead of playing knight c6 or knight f6, d6, e6, or e5, g6 move was also available, he want to make queenside progress like this, knight here, so, I played c4, e6. Knight to c3, knight here, I could play pawn to d4, then takes takes, but I choose to play bishop e2, alpha 0 strikes the kingside with g5, because he is a stockfish subscriber, he want to play bishop here, then g4, h5, bishop to d4 to target this, queen here to add pressure, ok, I responded with d3, alpha pushed his pawn to g4, knight d2, targeting on this pawn, we have h5, knight b3, threatening to push the d-pawn, so queen arrives on f6, bishop e3, targeting this pawn with two pieces, so knight d4, knight to a4. To target this pawn with two knights, if you think you can save the pawn by playing d6, let me show you the variation, if it happen, then knight to b6, rook here, knight takes and pawn takes, queen a4 check, this square is well protected by the knight and queen, so, king up to g7, and that's it, king position is terrible, just move back your bishop, to add pressure on kingside structure, so, back to the position, we have b5, I take the pawn with my knight, you shouldn't take the knight with your bishop, because the another knight will be active on there, and the knight position, and your queen side will be weak, so, here we have e5, making a key pawn to protect the position, I strike the queen side with a4, knight takes e2, queen takes, d6, try to kicking out the knight, here I sacrificed my knight by playing knight takes a6, alpha accepted with the rook, I take the b pawn, now I get two connected passed pawns on queen side, and at the same time alpha will attack on my king side with his gh pawn if I dare to play short castle, alpha move back his rook, I played castle, knight here, d6, bishop g7, if you take it then pawn takes, and there is no benefit, so, rook slides to c1, I want to play rook c7, then b6, queen check to the king, and just push the abbey pawns, so alpha castle short, I play d5, closing the position, now alpha can't defense properly his queen side with his king side pieces, queen on g6, rook goes to c7, to target this. So rook here, knight backs to protect it, alpha played f6, alpha pushed all his kingside pawns to attack my king structure and open the king position, you cannot take the f pawn because there is bishop takes, bishop will be activated on there, rooks will be connected, so, I played knight to c4, f4, bishop, back to d2, alpha played h4, this pawns are so aggressive, I played a5 ignoring the threat, here alpha's idea is to push the g pawn, there is lot of variations, if you take it. Then bishop will come to target this, alpha played g3 as his plan, I played a6, ignoring all the threads of alpha 0 because I am stockfish, and chess friends, if you want to play like me then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more episodes, alpha played f3, pawn takes, or queen takes can't even possible, let me show you why, if queen takes pawn happen, then rook here to get the file, if you try to save the queen by playing queen d3, then pawn takes check, king here, then h3. Threatening to take the pawn with the supporting of the queen, then push it, and if you take the pawn, then it's not bishop takes h3 check, it's queen to g1 check which is a killer move, king here, then pawn promotes into a new queen, rook takes and takes, with the supporting of the rook, there is mate in one move, king to e3 then bishop h6, which call checkmate, which means your king gets trapped, so, back to the position, we have g takes f3, bishop to h3, threatening to play pawn takes check, king slides then queen g2 checkmate, so after pawn takes, takes, I slide my king on h1, I want to play rook g1 to get the file, here we have g2 check, king slides, queen here, knight here, rook f8, to target this pawn, I played b6, we have rook takes pawn, threatening to play rook f1 check, so I take the g pawn, rook to f8, threatening rook f1 check, 
I played A7, do your best alpha, I just want to promote my a pawn, we have rook f1 check, if you take it with your rook, then you will lose your queen and queen will arrive on there, so, I played queen takes rook, sacrificing a queen for a rook, rook takes f1, king takes rook, queen f3 check, king slides, queen takes check, king here, queen takes, I promote my new queen on a1, alpha zero's bad luck, he cannot take the queen of this d-pawn, which I moved long time ago, I already told you if you close the center structure then it's become hard for your opponent to defend queenside with kingside pieces, so king here, rook takes e7. I want to sacrifice my rook on g7, because queen and rook is enough to checkmate the black king, so, alpha played queen f1 check, bishop blocks, queen d3 check, king slides, queen c4 check, bishop blocks, now the king is totally safe on there, queen cannot catch the king, we have bishop f5, rook takes check, rook check, king here, queen check, king g5, rook g7 check, bishop blocks, h4 check, king to f5, queen check, king here, rook takes, queen to e2, b7, check, blocks, queen check, king slides, queen here, rook check, takes, check, king here, check, backs, rook check, here, queen check, slides, queen e7 check and mate, wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care, see you soon.